and their spirit. That they don't turn a blind eye. That they get on their knees and they listen to you. So I thank you, Father, that you're raising them up. I thank you for the strength and the tenacity and the boldness and the endurance that you're bringing forth to every, every child of God. And I thank you, Father, because even though the enemy has tried to dismantle the foundation of a family by attacking the head, Father God, we speak life to every man on this earth. We speak a mighty valor and the fear of the Lord upon every man on your earth, Father God. Convict their hearts of whatever is that is not of you. That they may lay it at the altar and say, Father, forgive me. If I have veered away from you. If I have been the cause of the shaking in my foundation. I thank you that you're strengthening every man of this house. Every man of this house. And online. I thank you for the mighty men of valor that you're making them out to be, Father God. Pour out your spirit upon them. Have godly encounters with them in their dreams, Father God. Because we believe in their, our men, Father God. We believe in them. We believe in what they can do and what they can birth forward, Father God. Because the only reason the enemy is coming after the head is because what they can birth through. Through you. Because their mighty roar dismantles. Dismantles in the spirit, Father God. So I thank you, Father, for that you're raising them up and you're putting a fire in their spirit. So that when they speak forward life, Father God, and they're speaking forward to fellow men, young, old, no matter the age that they're speaking to, they will pierce. Mm. They will pierce into their heart and bring the life back to them. Almost like a CPR. Give them a fleshly heart. And everything that the enemy has placed in the path to dismantle their destiny. Those destiny robbers. We thank you for exposing them. We thank you for dismantling their works. We thank you that you, Father God, stand up a standard for the men of God. I thank you, Lord. Because every man that is being represented here, online, that are listening, that are here live, Father God, you are pouring out. You are pouring out your spirit upon them, Father. Like never before. Like never before, like never before, Father God. Instruct them and give them revelation to what you need them to do for their families and their future families and generations and generations to come. Because Father God, we say that our last names and our generations belong to you. So we thank you, Lord, for awakening our mighty men and making them the lion of Judah within them to roar, roar, and roar like the mighty lion that they are. And we thank you for us, Father God, the lionesses, the helpers, Father God, that you instruct us on how to help them and how to lead them and give them the necessary tools to be able to walk and lead the pack that you have gave unto them. We thank you, Lord. We magnify you, Jesus. Because, Father God, you are the Lion of Judah. And we thank you that we are part of your tribe. We thank you that you bring back the fleshly heart that you ordained in us. That you molded and stitched together before we were even thought of. We thank you, Father, that you're going down to the molecular level and every intricacy of us because you need us pure and righteous unto you because that's how we're able to speak your true love unto others. So we thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. 
We thank you for pouring out your love into our hearts. Because that is the true love. The never ending love. The reckless love of God. That truly wrecks you but in such a mighty way. In such a mighty way. That is so beautiful. There are no words to truly explain. So let us be examples and testimonies to every single person that we meet of the love of you. In Jesus' name.
As I sat here, I asked the Lord, what is it that you want us to do? What is it that you're wanting us to do? And he took me to Isaiah 30. And it, it was a strong word. He says, woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord, who take counsel and carry out a plan, but not mine. And who make a league and pour out a drink offering, but not of my spirit, thus adding sin to sin. Who have set out to go down into Egypt and have not asked me. And I was like, okay, what's, what's Egypt in this, Lord? And it's the world's way of how all this controversy, all these things are happening. <laughs> Who set out and go down into Egypt and have not asked me to flee to the stronghold of Pharaoh and to strengthen themselves in his strength and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength and protection of Pharaoh turn to your shame and the refuge in the shadow of Egypt to your humiliation and confusion. And he goes on to talk about who, uh, yet will all be ashamed because of a people, the Egyptians, who cannot profit them, who are not a help or benefit, but a shame and a disgrace, a mournful, inspired prediction, a burden to be lifted up concerning the beasts of the south. Oh, the heavy burden, the load of treasures going in to Egypt, through a land of trouble and anguish in which are lioness and lions, vipers and fiery flying serpents. They carry their riches upon the shoulders of young donkeys and their treasures upon the humps of camels to a people that will not and cannot profit them. For Egypt's help is worthless and toward no purpose. Therefore, I have called her Rahab, who sits still. I could read the whole thing, but what he began to share was, we are to stand apart from what the world is doing. We are to stand and get the direction from him as how to handle this, not follow the way that the government or the world or others are wanting to do it and so i want to just pray in that we would really seek god as to how to to go into those issues of egypt so father god i just praise you i thank you very quickly father god i thank you that you are giving each and every one of us father as we seek your face that you give us the insight, Father, that we don't look to the world's way. We don't look to Egypt's way. We don't look to what the world would say is the best way to solve this. Because, Father God, you are the only one with the answer. And, Lord, there are so many things that they want to do. But, Father, give us the wisdom of how to love as you love how to serve as you want us to serve, how to give as you want us to give. Lord, we may not be understood by the ways that you want us to do it, but Father, that you would give us the boldness. I pray for boldness in each and every person, in each and every believer, Father God, to stand up for what you want and not what it looks like everybody else wants, Father God. That has not worked. And it never will work. But only your way works. And so, Father, I just pray that you would give us the wisdom, the insight, the knowledge, the revelation through your word. And the boldness, Father, to stand before you 
As we stand in front of a person, as we speak to a person, as we pray for a person, Lord, that we would see it as our, see them as our brother, our sister, see them as you. That we do everything as though we were doing it unto you, regardless of what we see. And that we would take joy in what you take joy in. Take just, just love on your people. Father, as you loved us and sent your son to die for us, Father, that we would sacrifice our will, our ways, our desires to be a blessing, to be a blessing to every person, every situation we come into. We bring you into the situation, not us. We bring your insight, your knowledge, your love, your peace. We emanate you. <laughs> the, people feel and know you are there through us. I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in, in this nation, in this world, and in each, ev each and every one of our lives, and in this house, Lord. Thank you for what you are doing and how you are growing us and teaching us and guiding us each and every day. In Jesus' name. come to you this evening father asking you for forgiveness for forgiveness lord heal this land i stand the, the gap lord and i ask you to forgive us to forgive us for setting our eyes on everything else but you lord let us look at you just like Peter did when he was walking on water let us remain with our eyes fixed at you not of the circumstances on and around and about us, Father God. I ask you, Lord, for special protection over those young people who are going about guided and misguided by the press, Lord. I ask you, Father, to send angels and protect them, to deliver them from all this hatred and all the seeds of bitterness that have been planted in their hearts lord i ask you to pour out your spirit on the streets lord i ask you lord to cover them and send ministering angels father let people walk in prayer in praise healing this land lord i left up in prayer all those people that are guiding those young people to do these things not, totally against you lord you have asked us to love one another to reconcile lord let us us let those of us who know you be beacons of light of peace lord of representing your heart in all that we do at our workplace in the supermarket at school not just in the four walls of a of a church father god but in everything that we do starting with our homes lord i lift up to you those young people cleanse their hearts cleanse their minds from all the lies and the seeds of ill that have been planted lord heal and restore this nation heal and restore peace starting in the houses but in every aspect of society lord heal and restore love 
in everything that we do. Let us do everything as if it was to you, Lord. Let us glorify with every action, with every word. Put a stop in our mouth if we are going to say the wrong thing. Lord, guide us and protect us as we go about this next few weeks in speaking your love your light to those of you those people that don't know you lord let us preach even without words let us be lord your hands and feet in everything that we do Lord, I ask you for a a special blessing, Lord, for Apostle Jennifer as she tries to make a conversation to start healing, Lord. Use her. Use her boldly, mightily, Father God. Let her be your heart as she speaks forth about injustice, Lord. Bring those to her that need healing. Bring those to her that need to hear whatever it is that you need to say to those broken people in this house, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for your love, for the opportunity to restore, for make, for representing you for everything that you've done through our lives, Lord. Let us always glorify you in everything that we do. In Jesus' name I pray, Lord. for answered prayers. Amen. A lot of times we pray and um, 
you know, remembering to give him thanks and praise. Um, a little testimony. Uh, I think last, the last Monday we prayed f- uh, for restoration and um, at the company I worked for, they had a massive restoration. I mean, it was amazing. They went from a uh, way down negative to positive in terms of finances. And um, thank God for that restoration. Amen. Praise the Lord. And God is continuing to restore his people and restore our health, restore our wealth, restore uh, our love for God, restore us to first love. Amen. We thank God for that. Amen. I want to just read the scripture in uh, Psalms 23 verse 5. It says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over, or my cup overflows. So sometime in the midst of uh, our enemies, uh, God will anoint his church. God will anoint the apostle. God will anoint the prophets and the leaders of this house. God will overflow them with the anointing. Hallelujah. Fresh oil will come upon the apostle. Hallelujah. Jennifer LeClaire, praise be to God, and Prophet Vanessa, and all the pastors, and upon all of us, in the midst of whatever the enemies are doing. Another translation said, the haters, hallelujah. All the haters against the apostle, all that they speak against her, all that they say against her, we pull it down in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare no weapon formed against her, or this house shall prosper. But we shall prosper and be in hell, even as our soul prosper, hallelujah. We decree and declare she is the righteousness of God. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pull down the stronghold of the enemy. We bind the strong man in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We decree the victory of the blood of Jesus against the enemy. We shut the mouths of the lion. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus and in the midst of the presence of our enemies, Lord, let the overflow anointing come. Let the overflow overflow come upon your servant let the overflow come upon the house of God let the overflow come in the hearts of your people Lord let the overflow of your love and your grace and your anointing Holy Ghost flow through us and in us oh God in the name of Jesus hallelujah in the name of Jesus Lord every word spoken Lord every word written against your servant in this house Lord we block it we stop it in the name of Jesus we erase it with the blood of the Lamb. I be superimposed, Father God. Your will and your plan and your purpose for your apostle, Lord. And this house in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you, Lord, by the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord. We will live in the overflow of your love and your mercy. The overflow, Lord God, of your grace, Jesus, and your anointing, Holy Ghost. There will be a flow, Lord, of souls in the kingdom of God. Because, Lord God of this ministry, Father, Lord, we give you praise and we give you thanks, God. We pray, Lord, the covering of the uh, apostle, Lord, by the blood of Jesus. All that concerns and pertains to us, the work of our hands, cover with the blood. Cover with the anointing, Lord. Let the covering of your spirit rest upon her, Lord. And upon this house, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, what the enemy has meant for good, for evil, Lord, turn it for good by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And Lord, we decree it in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare, Lord, a mighty anointing in this house of the Holy Spirit, a mighty fire of your love in the hearts of all of your people, Lord. And we decree and declare, Lord God, mighty restoration for the people of God. And this house, Father, and Lord, we worship you, we bless you, we give you all the glory and honor and praise and all the credit for what you're going to do, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen.
Lord, thank you for what you're doing and continuously doing through your people. Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. Father God, we thank you for the wisdom of this house. We thank you for the wisdom that you pour out on apostle, Father God. We thank you that you continuously shower her that you continuously shower her with your wisdom, Father. Because by bringing w your wisdom, hmm, she's equipping your people, Father. So we thank you, Father, that you give her sp specific strategies and continuous downloads, Father God, because we even see your favor, your mercy, your grace, and your wisdom, Father God, on the pouring out that she pours out her heart in her books. And I thank you, Father, because you have anointed her, Lord. We thank you for all the wisdom and the revelation that she brings forth to your people as she equips them to be mighty warriors for your kingdom, Father God. Let the wisdom that she pours down to her people, Father God, let it be embedded in, her, in our hearts. Let us receive it. Let us receive it, Father. Let us not take it for granted. For we honor her, Father God, for being a pure and holy vessel unto you. For pouring out her heart through her obedience, even when it was hmm, excruciating, Lord. But Father God, you gave her so much strength. And I thank you, Father, that you're pouring out even more strength upon her now, Father God. That you are equipping her even greater than you already have. I thank you for the angelic hosts that surround her continuously, Father God. I thank you that you surround her and Prophet Vanessa as they travel, Father God. As they're coming to their travels, Father God, everything that you have ordained. Father God, your spirit flows through them. So I thank you for the mighty vessels that you have placed for your kingdom. We thank you that we are able to learn from them, Father. For all perfect wisdom comes from you. So Father, we thank you for the honor, for being able to, ex to receive. To receive your wisdom. So that we, in turn, can pour out to others. So let us not take for granted what we are receiving in this house. So that we are able to re be pour onto others what we have received. So let us be a continuous flow. I see like a trickling water fountain. Thank you, Father, for the overflow. Thank you for the overflow. Thank you for the overflow, Father. We thank you, Lord, because the words of wisdom that you place in Apostle Jennifer LeClaire's mouth to bring great revelation of your word, of understanding it in the simplicity of your beauty. 
that as we receive it, not only are we being transformed, are we being delivered, are we being renewed. We in turn are vessels to change lives wherever we go. So, Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the pouring out of wisdom that you're giving unto her. We thank you for the wisdom that you're also giving unto your daughter, Prophet Vanessa. We thank you that as they, they, they bring forth that wisdom, Father, you pour more and more and more. So we thank you for the overflow. We thank you for the washing. We thank you, Father, because it is all through your spirit, through your power, and through your might. I thank you that you protect them. I thank you for the mighty angels that continuously surround them, their families, and everyone that they love. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Jesus, for the angelic host that you assign to every person that is part of Awakening House of Prayer. I thank you, Father, that you are with us, that you equip us to be mighty, mighty warriors for your kingdom. But Father God, the persecution is not in vain. The persecution is because we are part of a house that births what you want. So Father God, let us be vehicles and vessels of birthing forward your truth, your word, your revelation, your healing, your restoration, your transformation. To every person that we encounter. We thank you for your peace that you bring across this land. And across the youth. That you're raising up mighty warriors in the youth. To bring your truth. And we thank you that you silence the voice of the enemy. Because no one is wiser and more intelligent than you, Father. You created them. You created every demonic spirit. They were angels, but they fell. So their intelligence comes from you. You are the mighty creator. So Father God, we thank you that you give us the strategies and the wisdom to be able to dismantle every enemy that comes against our lives. And that we're able to press through and pray through what you want. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the wisdom. We thank you, Father, for equipping us. We thank you that you are bringing wisdom to people of power. We cover the governmental heads of this nation. Bring your mighty wisdom to them so that every strategy, every decision that is made comes from you, God. Cover the President of the United States, Father God. We lift them up to you. May he continue to come to you for wisdom. You and only you, Lord. Align him with godly people to make the right decisions that are based on your wisdom. On your wisdom, God. We thank you for covering him. We thank you for protecting him. But Father God, as you, as we know from your word and as also as we heard this weekend, we must pray for our leaders. And Father God, we are praying for him, for his protection for a spirit of wisdom to be revealed unto him to make the right decisions for our nation. And we speak the same for every governmental head of every state. Cover us, Father, because these are people that are making decisions for your people. So, Father God, raise in our hearts mighty, mighty wisdom that we can be able to, when election comes, that we're able to vote forward godly people to make your choices, Father. To make your choices, Lord. And we sp speak forward that those godly fearing people will raise up and say, not not in this time, not anymore. We will speak for justice. We will speak for equality. We will speak for the 
voice of God and bring God back into this nation. Bring God back into our schools. Bring God back into our families. Bring God back into every home of this nation. Bring God back to every book. Because Father God, they try to erase you, but there is no way that they can erase you, Father. No way. We are here interceding in you because we have been transformed by your word, which is alive. So Father, we thank you. We glorify you and we magnify you because we will see great and mighty awakening and miracles and healings and wonders. And that's why the enemy is running rampant, doing all the things that he's doing now. Because your great awakening is here. So we thank you, Father, for the wisdom that you're going to pour out on the, on the governmental heads. And the mighty men of women, ma mighty men and women in the government that you will raise up, that will bring forward the fear of the Lord upon this nation that is so needed, Father. We thank you, Father. We glorify you, Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father. We thank you that we're able to gather here tonight as your sons and daughters, Lord God, 
called by you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Lord God, your, de- your desire is that not one should perish, but all come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, you took a man that was persecuting his church, Lord God. He was killing people. We witnessed the stoning of uh, Stephen, Lord God. Hallelujah. And he rode upon a horse, and you knocked him off of a horse, Lord God, and you caught his attention. You gave him blindness, Lord God. But soon you opened his eyes, Lord God, to see the living God. Hallelujah, Lord God. And you sent him to the Gentile nations, Lord God. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that you would just move among uh, the people of the world, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. And that you would open blind eyes, Lord God. Hallelujah. To see the beauty of who you are, Lord God. Hallelujah. That blind eyes would be open to see, Lord God, and that deaf ears would be open to hear what you are doing and saying, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. We call in, Lord God, prodigals, Lord God. We call in those people that have an antichrist spirit, Lord God. Hallelujah. We call them into the kingdom for such a time as this, Lord God. Hallelujah. We call for a spirit of repentance to move across this mighty nation and across the nations of the world, Lord God. Hallelujah. That Jesus would be high and lifted up, Lord God. Hallelujah. That he would be high and lifted up, Lord God. Hallelujah. We just ask, Lord God, that each one of your people, Lord God, who who are called by your name, Lord God, and you call their name, Lord God, hallelujah, that they would have a courage and a boldness to proclaim the gospel to the ends of the earth, Lord God, to the ends of the nations, Lord God, to the ends of the countries, Lord God, to the ends of the cities, Lord God, to the ends of their street, Lord God, hallelujah, Lord God, that each and every one, Lord God, needs to hear, Lord God, the message of your Son, that you so love the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. And we thank you, Lord God, that your Son, Lord God, purchased for us salvation, Lord God. He willfully laid down his, laid down his life in obedience, Father, to the, your request, Lord God. Hallelujah. He willfully laid down his life, Lord God. He was persecuted, Lord God. He was ridiculed, Lord God. He he bore 39 stripes upon his back, and by those stripes he purchased for us, Lord God, the healing of our bodies and the healing of our souls, our mind, our will, and emotions, Lord God. And we call forth that healing to each and every one, Lord God, tonight. Those who are assembled here, Lord God, but for your body of believers worldwide, Lord God. We call forth salvation, healing, and deliverance, Lord God, for prodigals, the ones that have walked away, Lord God, and for the ones who have yet to name the name of Jesus, Lord God. Just show yourself mighty, Lord God. Hallelujah. Show yourself mighty, Lord God. May healings go forth tonight in the name of Jesus for the honor and glory of Jesus, Lord God. May people be delivered from addictive substances and behaviors, Lord God. Tonight we call it forth in Jesus' name. Freedom from addictions, Lord God. Hallelujah. Freedom from sickness. Freedom from diseases, Lord God. Freedoms from traumas, Lord God, hallelujah, mental, physical, emotional um, trauma, Lord God, sexual trauma, whatever it was, Lord God, traumatized the people, Lord God, hallelujah. May tonight, may they be set free even now with the proclamation for the glory and honor of Jesus' sake, Lord God, and as they were sitting there thinking about and hoping and, and, and worrying about conditions, Lord God, show up, Lord God, hallelujah, set them free, and may there be testimonies that people just couldn't understand what happened to them, Lord God. Bring them here, Lord God. Bring them, take them to your churches, wherever they may be, the ones that are preaching the full gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
And we just thank you and we just praise you for it, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you for salvations, healings, and deliverances, Lord God, that not one should perish. That's your will and that's what we call forth, Lord God, your will, your plans, and your purposes. May each and every one of your children that have already named the name of Jesus, Lord God, may they walk in the fullness of their calling, Lord God. Hallelujah. May you form words upon their lips, even as Paul prayed that that you would give him uh, courage and boldness to proclaim the gospel, Lord God. I pray that you give that to each and every one of us, Lord God, the courage and the boldness to go forth to name the name of Jesus, hallelujah, as King of kings and Lord of lords, as soon returning king, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. For those who have been timid in your church, Lord God, just stir them up, fill them up with overflowing, Lord God. We thank you for the outpouring of your spirit, Lord God. Hallelujah. Visit your children, Lord God. Give the old men dreams and the young men visions, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord God, give all, may all recognize their gifts, callings, Lord God, hallelujah, and walk in the fullness of the gifts and the callings that you supplied, Lord God, hallelujah. You told all of your children to go into all the world proclaiming your message, the message of the kingdom, Lord God, and we just speak that tonight, Lord God. We declare and decree that today someone would hear that uh, coming from you, Lord God, and be willing to go, Lord God, wherever you told them to go, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And Lord, we just call back. You promised, Lord God, and you're not a God that you should lie or a son of man that you should repent. You promised through the book of Joel, Lord God, that you would restore all that the canker worm, palmer worm, and the locust has eaten. And we call it back in Jesus' name, Lord God. We call it restored, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And we call restored, Lord God, and return to us, Lord God, your children, all that the enemy has stolen, Lord God. And it says he must return it seven times over, Lord God. And Lord, we call forth the wealth of the wicked that you said would be transferred for the work of the righteous, Lord God. We just call it forth, Lord God. Billions, millions, trillions of dollars, Lord God. Hallelujah. We call it forth, Lord God, for the building of homes, Lord God, for the clothing of the naked, for the feeding of the the hungry, Lord God, the education of people, Lord God, hallelujah, be it education of who you are by sharing your good news, Lord God, or just an education and training, raising them up and training them to do, um, having different jobs, Lord God, becoming me uh, productive members of society, Lord God, Lord, there's all kind of things and you will show us, Lord God, you will show us how to use those resources, Lord God, to establish your kingdom from one end to the other, Lord God, around the world, around the globe, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we just thank you, Lord God. We just thank you for all that you are doing in us, Lord God, for the transformation, for the way that you have set all of us free, Lord God. Hallelujah. And they are setting us free, Lord God. Hallelujah. That you're sanctifying us, Lord God. It's a process, Lord God. Hallelujah. And Lord, I help us to recognize that we are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places, Lord God. Make that a reality to us and to our spirit man, Lord God, in a way that we've not understood it in the past, Lord God. And open each and every one's eyes, Lord God, to see what you're doing, Father God, and, and to open our ears to hear what you're saying to us, Lord God, and open our hearts to receive it, Lord God, that we would be obedient to do. And, and to be all that you've called us to be and do all that you've asked us to do, Lord God. Hallelujah. Help each one of us here, Lord God, to see the others, Lord God, the way that you see them, Lord God. And that the words that we speak, Lord God, would be words of edification, exhortation, and comfort, Lord God, toward anyone and everyone, Lord God. Hallelujah. You told me a long time ago there are no unlovable people, Lord God. Hallelujah. Uh, so, Lord, I pray that you ha have each one of your children uh, view people that way, that they are lovable. You love them, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we're called to be conformed in the image and likeness of Christ. So I ask you, Holy Spirit, to help us to do that. Help us, Holy Spirit, to see the way that the Lord sees and to 
to speak the way that he speaks, words of edification, exhortation, and comfort, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Help us to love one another like you love your church, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, uh, you, um, you told husbands to love their wives as you love your church. You told wives to honor their husbands as unto the Lord. You told parents to uh, raise up their children, Lord God, without uh, uh, causing them to anger, Lord God. Hallelujah. You called your chi the children, Lord God, to honor their mothers and fathers, that they'd be well with them and that live a long life, Lord God. So we speak to marriages, Lord God. We speak to wholeness in marriages, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, that you would just heal, Lord God. The, uh, you, you say in the book of Malachi that divorce brings... Tr um, um, <laughs> yeah... That divorce uh, uh, brings treachery, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We ask that you would heal, Lord God, the brokenness of the individuals, Lord God. Hallelujah. The brokenness of the husbands, the brokenness brokenness of the wives, the brokenness of the children, Lord God, that you would deliver them out of that situation, restore them. We call forth reconciliation, restoration, transformation, resurrection of marriages, Lord God, resurrection of marriages and resurrection of families, Lord God. And Lord, where there has been rejection, Lord God, and where there has been um, well, the rejection of the children, Lord God, and that orphan spirit that operates in so many people, Lord God. Even adults are walking around with that orphan spirit and that spirit of rejection, Lord God. We ask that you would bring healing to them, Lord God, and that each and every one would be able to reach out, Lord God. Reach out and to accept your love, Father God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. For that, for that healing work, that delivering work of your son, Lord God. We thank you for that. In Jesus' precious name, amen.